guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Steph if you're new be sure to go subscribe below before we get any further and go follow me on Instagram and TikTok those are also linked in the description box so you can easily just go click there and follow me on those platforms as well it means so so much but today's video as you can see by the title is 10 must-haves in your wardrobe this is just my opinion but these are pieces and things that I wear almost every day at least two or three times a week if not every day and and I would highly recommend every single one of them. So without further ado, let's get into this haul and I will try and link everything I can down below. Also, we have a little audience today. Hi, say hi Mocha. She's so not here for my bullshit. But she wants to be in my room. All right, the first thing is Zara mom jeans. I have talked about them a million times on all of my platforms and you will see them styled so many different ways over on my Instagram as well and TikTok, of course. Um, I do have a lot of them packed because I'm filming this before I go to Florida, but I do have some of them still to show you. I believe they have them in like six or seven colors and I have every single one. I actually need to get a new pair in the denim and the black because I used to be size eight, now I'm a size six in them. I absolutely love them. The length is great. Like they just fit so nicely. They go with everything. It's basic. They're pretty affordable and I just would really recommend them. So the ones I don't have packed right now are the purple pair, which are kind of like my newest ones with the blue ones also. They're all also just a tiny bit different. So these ones have a button fly. These ones do not. But as you can see, they basically look identical. And then here's my denim pair as well which these ones fold up on the bottom. So like I said, they are all a little bit different. These ones were my first pair I ever got of them. Obviously got to get the blue denim, but I absolutely love them. I will pop up some pictures of me styling them so many different ways. Next we have my Sperry flip flops, which again I've talked about a million times. I actually just got a new pair for my birthday, so you can see what they actually look like. Um, this style is just a little bit different, it has like the braided detail right there. But these are my first pair. As you can see, I wore them everywhere. I wore them in like the ocean, kind of, and literally this is my everyday shoe. So that just gives you a frame of reference. Um, they got very thin. They're not super thick to start out, but like I literally wore them so much and like the heels like indented, but they're so cute and they're like a beige color. So they're pretty basic. They go with basically everything, especially if you have a darker skin tone. I think they just like fit right in with your like leg. So like I think you can literally wear them with anything. Um, I know people like rainbows and other shoes like Birkenstocks. I love Birkenstocks. I have never tried rainbows. If somebody wants to get me rainbows, I will definitely be willing to try them. But right now, Sperry's are definitely my thing. Birkenstocks. I have like four pairs of them. I love them as well. But right now, I am in my spray flip up stage. <laughs> Next up is Lululemon biker shorts, which I'm actually wearing right now. So I will lower these for you. Um, I wear the six inch. I wear a size four. And I think I've tried the super high rise, but I've also tried like the normal ones. I don't really mind which ones they are. I love the six inch on my like leg length. I think they're so cute. Of course, I have like three black pairs. I think they obviously go with everything. And I just think, excuse me, Moke. I just think they are just a great basic to have in a wardrobe. Um, I used to wear all those like nylon kind of like track running shorts. I don't really like those anymore. These I absolutely love. They're so comfortable. They're like fitted, but they're like the material if you know the lemon aligns. They're so comfortable, guys. So I would highly recommend. Next is a good pair of gold earrings, so gold hoops. Um, I also actually just got silver ones because I find myself sometimes wearing those as well. But my gold ones are from Rios and this is what they look like. The dog is probably at my door. I love these ones mainly because mainly because they actually like close so you're not gonna get your hair or a mask stuck in them which i used to have an issue with with other gold hoops so i love these ones they are the perfect like amount of chunky and i just think they're so cute and a great size they're kind of small but they do the job and then actually the silver ones which are also close they're so cute again like not too big maybe like a tiny bit bigger in diameter than the gold ones but a little bit thinner but so cute still like a little bit of chunkiness and i just got these ones off of amazon and they are linked on my amazon storefront down below in the description box next up we have my converse which in the last like year i got both of these and i love them so so much so i got the white move converse so they have kind of just like that extra layer on the bottom i think they're so cute i love how they're all white and then i got the converse hike platform i believe is what it's called 
and again i think they're so cute i love like the little rubber in the back and in the front and i just think they're so cute and seriously especially like these ones they're such basics especially for the school year coming up like they are going to be your best friend and i think they're both very very comfortable next is colorful graphic tees or just graphic tees in general i love color in my wardrobe i've never been someone that like only wears black white beige and so a colorful graphic tee i will wear it to death i wear them to bed i wear them lounging around the house like this is my go-to outfit okay the lululemon biker shorts and a graphic tee this one is specifically from urban it has like some tears in it but that's how it came i am a sucker for a good colorful like good graphic tee. I just got one from Margaritaville recently. It was pink and it's so cute. I just love it. So this is one of my newest ones. I love the colors and I think it's so cute. And I think they're a great multi-purpose item in your wardrobe. The next thing is a white button down. So I got mine from TJ Maxx. It's the brand Curios out of Los Angeles. It's 100% cotton, but obviously like you can get them anywhere, Amazon, like anywhere, and you can get them super affordable. I just love this one. So I would recommend a cotton one. We're actually trying to find my mom one now because she wants one. I would not recommend that like really thin, like that see-through cover-up material kind of one. I just think it's very, that keeps it in a certain season. Um, I love that this one is cotton and I, it's just really comfortable so mine actually has like a little bit of a pattern on it but i just think it's so cute i got it in a medium large but it's like oversized and i just think it's the cutest thing and obviously you can add it to any outfit the next thing i think we all need in our wardrobe is a good button down i meant zip up hoodie and not button down so these are all of mine this pile right here so i have actually gotten some colored ones in the last couple months but I would definitely just recommend maybe a black one. So I get mine off of Amazon. This one is Gildan brand. That's typically what I go with just because I know it's a very common special brand. I trust them. Um, my green one is from H&M. And then I have a blue one that is from Shein. But they're not too heavy, but they're like not too light. I love them. Obviously, like they can go with anything, any season. And I think they're another great option, like the button up to throw over anything. I get them in a extra large. I could, as a frame of reference, like same with my graphic t-shirts, I can fit a medium in something. So when I want something oversized, I go all the way to an extra large for a frame of reference. So cute. Basic zip up, has a hood, has the little strings, and then a zipper down the front. I have it in, like I said, those colors, and then I also have it in a white, a gray, brown recently. And then I have a, like, a navy one I got from Walmart, which I bleached part of it, so it's like navy and purple. Super cute. And super easy hack right there. <laughs> Alright, coming into, I believe, the last two, you definitely need a good pair or a couple good pairs of some blue denim jeans in your wardrobe. You are going to need those for absolutely anything and everything. They are going to last you so long because it's, if it's real denim, they do. And you can dress them up, down, like literally you can wear jeans for absolutely anything. I don't care what people say, you can totally dress it up. And I have a couple pairs to share with you guys. So I do have, I'll pop it up, um, a pair from Zara, which I actually thrifted from Plato's Closet. They are so cute. It has a huge knee rip on one side, but I think they're so flattering. They are super high-waisted and super long, and I'm 5'7", and they're still really long. So I love those ones. Currently, they're packed. But then I have these two pairs. So these ones, again, I I thrifted them they're from cotton on so i love cotton on but i do not have one near me i've only ever been in a cotton on store like three times in my life because there's never one near me <laughs> but i love these so i would definitely recommend cotton on jeans so cute not like low rise but definitely not high rise a little bit on the baggier side and then here on the bottom I just rolled them up like a very, very tiny bit just to give them a little bit of dimension. So stinking cute, guys. And very, very comfortable. And from a girl, if you know me, who honestly in high school, like, hated jeans, had a horrible relationship with them. I love those. Like, they're so comfortable. And then the other pair is from Princess Polly. Again, amazing pair of denim. And they just have like a basic fly and then they're a really long leg, which is really nice for those tall girls. It's not like a super wide leg, but it is like a straight leg kind of style. All the pockets are real because it is a real denim, which I would definitely make sure you're getting. I wouldn't get like the jagging kind of thing anymore. But again, super long, flattering, so comfortable. If you still wear fitted jeans, like 
go you but i hate that era and i hope it never comes back <laughs> before we get into the last one the fact that i just picked these three and they match the shirt i love but number 10 is a colorful heel so a lot of you might not think this is necessary in a wardrobe i lately highly disagree with that if you are someone that wears black all the time i would highly recommend whatever color you like the most you like on you the most i would try and find a heel color just like that for you because you can just change an outfit it's not going to go too much out of your comfort zone of wearing all black or white or beige or whatever and it'll still look absolutely amazing when you're styling outfits for anything. I just have a couple here. Um, I get a lot of mine from Shein, so it does not have to be a gigantic thing like this, okay? It could be a subtle little thing like this, huge and chunky on the back, so it's not gonna be super uncomfortable to walk in, okay? I understand, not everyone wears a heel. I totally get that. I modeled for like 10 years of my life, so I'm used to wearing a heel. But you could totally do something like this, guys, or just like all platform, which is super comfortable, let me tell you. These first ones are just this cutie little like sky blue. They're from Shein. I got a size 9 in all my heels. This next one is also from Shein. This little green straps here on the top. And the bottom is platform, so again, it's going to be comfortable. And then these last ones are from Light in the Box. So again, platform everywhere. A little rhinestone moment. So if you want something with a little, like, glitter, rhinestone-y action on it, I would recommend this. So many places have so many options. I think Shein's are pretty affordable. And I haven't run into anything, like, breaking or anything. Same with Light in the Box. Whatever your preference, go for it. I will link some down below. But, yeah. But that is all I'm going to be showing you guys today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video of 10 things I think you guys need in your wardrobe. Again, my opinion, you can totally disagree. But I will link everything in like the order that I said everything. Number 10 was colorful heels. And then I'll put he uh, heel like links under it, if that makes sense. Let me know if you guys want another video like this. Let me know if you have any other video requests. Please leave them in the comments. I would love to see you guys commenting more down there and just saying, hey, I love to talk to people in the comments. So I will see you down there, hopefully. <laughs> but be sure to subscribe if you don't already. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. They are both linked in the description box. And follow me on Pinterest as well. Because I am constantly pinning things and posting things on there as well. Love you guys so much. And I will see you in my next video. I don't know if my Florida vlog is up yet or not. But I probably have another video while I'm in Florida. Go watch that. Bye, guys.